Now let's see an example of analysis. So first of all, let's start with the basics. The basics will be how to to check if it's representative. As I told you, making a species accumulation curves of all your sites and vectored or all your transects or your traps to check if you reached a plateau and then you have almost all the species over there. So uh, here is the script. I will copy it into the comments and have a look. Try yourself with your own R console. First of all, we need to load the vegan library. Okay, I wrote to you a link about vegan to check more deeply the different tools in vegan. Okay. So you load the extension and then I propose to you to load those uh, example. BCI is Barro Colorado Inventory. It's a famous area in Central America uh, where they recorded and inventoried many, many, many trees in a big square of uh, several hectares. I don't remember how many. Uh, I can give you the reference if you ask me. So, uh, if you do control R data BCE, BCI, you will have BCI. If you load it and you have a look, you can see there is 50 plots, okay? And for each plot, they uh, inventoried all the trees. For example, you can have uh, Zontoxylum was only found here in 41. So then you have a, an additional column only for the plot 41. So this is a rare species. Very important to have some rare species because it will calculate, later we'll see, calculate the occurrence of a rare species, the probability to find a rare species while you are doing some transit. So Barlo Colorado, it's over there. If you do a summary, it's always good to check that it's only uh, number data. You don't have a uh, empty space or uh, you don't have some letters. Okay, so here it's okay. It's only number, abundance of tree. Attach, uh, and here you can see it's all the columns. Wow, many, many species of trees. Different names. Okay. Oh, actually, 223 tree species. Tree species were unwanted. Then, you will use Specacom. Specacom is species accumulation curves from vegan. So if you call it, for example, SP1, I can call it whatever you want. Uh, SP1, and I call Specacom species accumulation curve of all my lines, all my plots. Let's do it. Control R. And then I call it. What do I have? I have for each site the number of trees. So, for example, I found 90 trees, uh, standard deviation 6, plus minus 6. Okay, cool. So, but we want more. Uh, we want, uh, sorry, species. species. <coughs> uh, uh, when we do, so let me, again, sorry, I, it was a bad explanation. So, each time on average, I, I take one site, whatever, number 50, 20, so a random site among the 50, I will find 90 species on average, plus minus standard deviation of 7 trees. If I take, take two samples, I will have on average, so I will find 121, and then etc, etc, okay? So it's how many species I will find on average on my 50 plots. Okay, so if you go on the field, you do a plot, on average, a random one, on average, you may find 90 species, plus minus 7. Okay, so now I have, a, I have my species accumulation, not curve, species accumulation. And then if I plot this, let's have a look, automatically, you know, just uh, root just without uh, other things, I will have that. Automatically, I, they provide the standard uh, deviation, you see, and 
when I start, when I start, I just do one plot. On average, I will have 90 uh, species plus minus the standard deviation, six species. If I do two, three, two, 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 two. and we can see that after 30, we start to have the, um, all the species. But still, after 50, you have few rare species that may occur, that may appear. Okay, so you can change, for example, you can add the uh, lab. Okay, species number uh, x lab x lab x lab will be for example just to show you that you can change everything that you already know uh, plot plot uh, voila you can change but you can even change uh, let me show you special letter and you can even change uh, the color of the uh, curves, you can add the confidence interval, okay, full, here it's bar, but you want it full, uh, light blue, uh, you want to remove the line after, let me show you, and then it's a bit better, here you have the species accumulation curves of new trees in Barro Colorado plots, okay, after 50 plots. Voila, you can change everything, okay, a little bit uh, thicker, etc. Then, how many, here I can see I can reach 223 species, but if I continue, okay, as I told you, with rare species, we can calculate the probability to, to find the occurrence of rare species, and then we can do bootstrap or jackknife or cow it's another technique to calculate the occurrence of additional species it's special pool okay with special pool with bci matrix it will provide all the species you found actually i said 223 but it's 225 then with the cow techniques okay i will sh show you uh, the difference among the techniques. So, to summarize, uh, they are they all have different sensitivity to rare occurrence. Okay, so here with Kao, they think that if you continue to do some sampling, some additional plots, you may have 236 species. Okay, in your area, plus minus uh, standard error six species with jackknife. 245, you have the standard error, jackknife 2, bootstrap, so you see, between 247 and 245 species may be uh, sampled into Paro Colorado, okay? Uh, so that's very cool, you see, automatically with space pool, you can extrapolate how many species you, can, you may found uh, if you continue, theoretically, if you continue your sampling efforts. Okay, I can give you another example with another data set, with another matrix, because we need a bit of repetition for this uh, novelty.